Here it comes. To quote Britney Spears, oops, the Santas did it again. I'm sorry, <laughs> but really, the producers wanted Britney Spears, and you know me. <laughs> I'm a renaissance man. <laughs> the Florida governor has replaced his campaign manager once again. Oh, my gosh. Joining me to talk about this, Roy Murdoch, senior fellow with the Lund Center for Policy Research and Fox News contributor, and Monica Crowley, former assistant treasury secretary and host of the Monica Crowley podcast. Kids, you look uh, fabulous. Thanks for coming on the show. You know, this DeSantis story, I mean, it's not good. OK, and it's simply because he's not a dumb guy, as I've said many times, he's genuine conservative, but it's a bungled campaign, the likes of which we've never seen before. I don't know if you saw the Maggie Haberman lead story in the New York Times website. It's up uh, posted now or it was an hour or two ago. They're bringing in a new person who has no national campaign experience. And they're keeping the old people who had no national campaign experience to begin with. It's this inbred, incestuous Florida thing, and it has been an absolute disaster. Monica, they can't message their way. They can't message their way out of a congestion price. <laughs> <laughs> no, and it's really unfortunate because Governor DeSantis is literally the best governor in the entire country, probably the best Republican governor we have had in decades. Mm. And yet, he can't seem to find his footing. Look, there's a huge difference between being a very effective governor of a major state like Florida and running for president, and then it's something else entirely to run for president against Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. And Governor DeSantis is finding out exactly how difficult it is. Look, most Republicans are very wary about the donor class and the establishment class and the consultant class, and that includes Governor DeSantis. So he has wanted to surround himself with the people he knows and trusts in the state of Florida. While that's understandable, you are trying to run a national campaign. He needs somebody. And he needs other somebody. people. Somebody. But look, the, the truth is, for all intents and purposes, this primary is over. Well, and so he can bring in an A-team from God knows where, and he's still not going to gain the kind of traction he needs to overcome he's Donald Trump. done it. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable, and he cannot message. I mean, he's tripped over himself so many times. He, he went all as far woke to Roy, and he spent the first half of his campaign fighting Disney. That's right. And then got <clears throat> entangled in legal arguments with Disney in the courts, which was a very dumb thing to do, because that's all he ever talked about. And then he got very mean about it. So you had, like, the state of Florida attacking a gigantic business in your own, in your right. own uh, state. And that wasn't a good thing. Look, the other, last t t 10 days ago, whatever, he had this economic plan, okay? I read through his economic plan. It was kind of sketchy, but he said 3% growth. He wanted a stable dollar. Have you heard of him since? Have you heard anyone? Not have a you word. heard him talk about it? Barely. Nothing. No, not nothing at all. at all. I mean, that's the problem with the death They can't message. They can't drive home uh, substantive stuff. He has no future economic agenda. And actually, the betting markets now, um, my pal Vivek Ramaswamy is actually ahead slightly of is, DeSantis for second place in is, the betting isn't that, market. Isn't that remarkable? This is really yeah. Something. And I, I agree with Monica. It's very sad that uh, this guy with this wonderful reputation until about, you know, four or five months ago is now sort of a laughing stock and, and also ran. And that's a shame because his performance as governor has been spectacular. Florida is a model state for the whole country and all the, all the uh, wonderful uh, uh, sort of... Uh, press that that generated is kind of evaporated. Uh, one thing that DeSantis, you would think, would have done is have one idea that defines him. You know, you say Steve Forbes, people say flat tax. The late, great Herman Cain, mm. the 999 tax plan. Mm. Uh, when he was first running in 2016, Donald J. Trump build the Southern Wall. Uh, like or dislike those ideas. It's something that got through to find the, the candidate and got through the uh, through that uh, big uh, you know cloud of, uh, of uh, confusion about all so many candidates in that scrum. That might have gotten him through, but I can't associate with associate him with any one great idea other than you know beating up on Disney and that sort of thing. And that's a shame. You think you'd be able to find one new idea and be able to forge through and, and become and the, the, the chief rival they're, against they're, Trump. But the ship is sinking. He's hammering yeah, money. He's firing staff. Staff of ninety. They're getting uh, overturned and fired and all that, and just doesn't seem to be able to get out. Out of, out of Tallahassee. Monica, what, 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 you tell me. I mean, he stumbled over Ukraine. He stumbled way too far. I mean, nobody wants woke. I get that. But every single candidate had the same position, except he was just enmeshed in this. Um, like I say, he had an economic plan. He said it once. We have not heard it since. Right, Never. there's no follow-up. What, what is his... You, you, DeRoy touched on it. I'm frustrated. 
you run for president, there should be a reason, a reason you're running for president, okay? It's pretty clear why Donald Trump is running for president on the economy, on the border, on the establishment, cleaning up. What was his raison d'etre for president? as the alternative to Donald Trump. I think the consultant class and the donor class got to Governor DeSantis and said, look, you've had this spectacular record in Florida. You just want a blowout re-election race. You are going to be the alternative to Donald Trump. And that argument did have traction. It was a legit argument. But you got to understand that Donald Trump has something that no other candidate has, on top of having this extraordinary record in his first term as president, which is that he's got an emotional bond with the voters on the Republican side, mm -hmm. also independents and disaffected Democrats. Emotional, not political, not intellectual, emotional. That is almost an impossible thing for any other candidate to overcome. But he was the electability but, candidate, remember? He was the elect... But unfortunately, none of the polls but show electability. If you, if you cannot run an effective presidential campaign, voters look at that and say, how are you going to effectively run the country? You uh, can't. That is a really important point. If you can't, you, you're exactly right. And as an executive who has been in an executive job, not a senator or a House member, he should have showed that, and he didn't. You're absolutely dead right about that. DeWright, um, this is a guy who... If I get this right, Yale College, Harvard Law School. That's right. Baseball team at Yale. Mm -hmm. uh, military lawyer. Military. He's in the yeah, military. I, I, Great I, military I, record. I believe in in uh, in the uh, Iraq uh, zone. So mm -hmm. lots of credits there. Wonderful resume. Done a good job. Great resume. Uh, certainly a conservative. Absolutely. And but he just couldn't get it together. I've never quite seen anything like this, and he's collapsing. And look, you got to bring in. You're going to do this. Yeah, I mean, you should have called Kellyanne Conway. By the way, Kellyanne Conway, on this set, months ago, said the donors are always wrong. Yeah. And yeah. boy, I mean, she, she just absolutely yeah. nailed it. Now, Deroy, one thing that really, um, really got my goat, um, as an old civil rights Republican, okay, look it, he has this thing for his Florida school curriculum that basically, talking about slavery, said there were some advantages, there were some... I don't know, personal learning or personal services. Uh, and, of course, Tim Scott just completely ripped him apart. Others have ripped him apart. This annoyed me no end, okay? Mm -hmm. I, this is very bad. There is not one tiny iota, comma, anything good about slavery. No, I'm sorry, there, he never should have gone there. There's never, there's, never, there's never. There's no, nothing good to say. And the idea that, you know, maybe the slaves gained some skills. You don't... You don't uh, uh, bless slavery as a giant jobs program, which it was not. There you go. It was there orig you go. America's original sin and something horrible. Thank God it ended. Now, he did have some uh, curriculum standards saying that we should, should teach about slavery, teach about some uh, racial uh, atrocities that took place in Florida. That was added to the curriculum. That was great. But then they had this extra thing about, as you say, personal services or something like this. Total unforced error, totally unnecessary. He just gets I don't think he's pro slavery, but it just gives, no, it gives the other no. side an opportunity to attack. That's right. And the last just... thing you want to do is, is, is give Billy Clubs to your enemies and let them knock you over the head with That's right. Thank you for that. Look, I mean, he just gets enmeshed, dogs, dog chasing tail in all these things. And at the end of the day, nobody knows what the hell. Anyway, I'm looking at this thing. Uh, Shane Goldmacher and Maggie Haberman, um, New York Times. DeSantis replaces campaign manager in major shakeup. Clock's ticking. He's going to hurt himself for the next go around. That's yeah. the other. He should have skipped yeah. 24 and waited until 20. Monica Crowley, Deroy. Thank you, Deroy Murdoch. Appreciate it.